Ready for this one, Leon? Go for it. Uh, come on. Damn. I've fallen and I can't get up. You did that on purpose. Gene. Oh, Gene. This is supposed to be an exercise in balance, Leon. Not unbalance. I can't help it. I was unbalanced even before my accident. How are you doing today, Jason? Oh, just peachy, Gene. Never thought I'd wear myself out batting a balloon around. Wait till you work up to the medicine ball. Oh, yeah, looking forward to it. I don't keep a gun around the house. I, I thought you were still out fishing. <laughs> yeah, well, the fish had other ideas. The skipper returned back early. Well, what's with the suit? You going to court or something? <laughs> no, nothing like that. It's sort of a special occasion. Like what? Well, it's more like an anniversary. She died 10 years ago today. Ah, you're just a little fella. Maybe you don't remember the details. You don't forget something like that. I think maybe it's time we paid our respects. Brian. There's more groceries in the truck. Well, like Mom always said, better late than never. You missed the stupid bus again. Yeah. So, uh, when does Betty get in? When she feels like it. Usually, why? Uh, well, because I figured I might ask her for a job. <laughs> Not much chance of that. Oh, well, that's just what I wanted to hear. I mean, hasn't she heard of the plague of unemployment facing the youth of this country? I mean, where's her sense of patriotism, huh? Oh, hey. You're advertising for a medical health officer on the island. Well, if I've watched General Hospital a couple of times. Look, if you're really desperate. If I wasn't that desperate, you think I'd ask you about working here? I think the pizza place is looking for somebody to make deliveries. Oh, Jen, come on. I mean, there is a fine line between desperate and far beyond all hope. <laughs> Please, pizza delivery. OK, suit yourself. <sighs> so how's physio going? It's going. Notice anything different about me? New earrings? No, guess again. Oh, your arm, right. Must feel good, huh? Yeah, it sure does. After two months in a cast, I forgot what it looked like. I trade a life in a wheelchair for two months in a cast any day. Jason, I wasn't comparing what happened to you to... I mean, I wasn't comparing anything. I never said you were, okay? Look, maybe I should just go. No, don't go. I'm sorry. I'm just tired, that's all. I'm just I'm tired of everything. I feel like I'm treading water, you know? No matter how hard I work, I don't get anywhere. But if I stop trying, I'm just going to sink. Well, one more week and then you can go home. Yeah, right. Oh, I thought you'd want to get out of this place. I do want to get out. It's just, I don't know if I'm ready. I mean, Leon and I were playing ping pong this morning with balloons. And I couldn't even do that. I kept falling over like a little baby. Honey, I know it's hard, but it just takes time. Yeah, right. That's what the physiotherapist says. That's what the doctor says. That's all anybody says. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to understand that I'm the one that has to live like this every day. 
And I don't need you or anybody else telling me how hard it is, all right? All right, look, I am just gonna go. I didn't come here to fight with you. Don't just stand there and talk about it, go. Maybe you hadn't noticed before, but I always made some point of being off on a boat someplace when this day rolls around. I noticed. I guess I thought it was out at sea or at the bottom of a bottle. I didn't have to face up to it. Oh, what about you then? Why do you want to do this now? What's so different about this here than any other? Well, I'm sober this time. You know, it's a funny thing about not being drunk. A man gets a chance to think. To remember. Your mum was a good woman. I'd rather remember the way she lived than the way she died. Why didn't you tell me what really happened back then? Well, I guess I thought you couldn't handle it. Turns out I was the one that couldn't handle the truth. Oh. So now that you're sober enough to face the facts, I have to jump at the chance to see her grave, huh? Oh, come on. I'm not asking you to make a big fuss. I just don't want to go there alone. I just want to say goodbye to this one. Yeah, well, she never said goodbye to me. Hey, I'm not <laughs> complaining. I mean, it's great to have the job, and it's really... Thoughtful of you to supply the uniform. I know it's stupid, but it's part of the franchise deal. You want the job? Comes with the suit. Take it or leave it. Well, uh, I'll, I'll take it. 7036 East Queens Road. Gabish? Gabish. Yeah. Hey, you finally got your cast taken off, huh? Oh, you noticed. It's more than I'd expect from a human hood ornament. Hey, I'm just here to help you keep your promise. I started summer school today. You said you'd be my tutor. Oh, Kirk, now's not a good time. Hey, come on. I got my first English assignment due tomorrow. Look, if you're not into it, I'll just take off. Get in. I should have been there for you. For her. You're on the boat. How are you supposed to know? Well, that's not the point. Do you, um, do you remember much about the funeral? I didn't go. I don't remember that day all that well. Just people crying. I remember when it was time to leave for the funeral, and I locked myself in the bathroom. I stayed there till Aunt Ida got home. Why'd you do that? <sighs> I guess I refused to believe it. I kept telling myself that everybody was lying to me. She never went anywhere without saying goodbye. So, I knew she wasn't dead. <sighs> I guess that's why I never wanted to see the grave before. I knew it would make it real. How about these? Yeah, well, she didn't like roses. Really? No, she said a woman always got those when her husband was feeling guilty. Well, this is it. Huber Homestead. <laughs> Donnie. Kids, huh? What are you gonna do? Yeah, well, you know what they say. Home is where the laundry is. You wanna go out on the porch? Yeah, sure. <sighs> hey, you want a beer? No, thanks. Look, just tell me about this English assignment. Ah, well, I'm supposed to um, do a resume here. You've already done it. What do you need me for? Well, it's not typed up. Do you want me to type up your resume? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't have a computer or a typewriter or anything. I just figured you could... Look, if you want help actually learning something, I'm here. But if all you want is a personal secretary, you can forget it. <gasps> Sorry, I guess. Look, you could help me at least set it up. I mean, neatness counts on this. Didn't your teacher go over this with you in class? <laughs> yeah, well, um... I had better things to do. Please. Oh, don't be a suck. I hate that. Since when were you the manager of Maple Leaf Hotel? 
Oh, come on. I mean, everybody pads these things a little. <laughs> it's a resume, Kirk, not a creative writing assignment. Now, what actual work experience do you have? Well, I sold a little grass. <laughs> no? Uh, okay, you're taking classes at the school, right? Yeah. Well, why don't we meet tomorrow afternoon at the computer lab, and you can type this up. But I don't type. You'll learn. You mean like a surprise party? Yeah. Get some people together and welcome him home. I'm not sure how he'd handle it. Jason, he lives to party. I was just talking to Maria. It sounds like he's having a tough time adjusting. Yeah, I know, but that's just the point. We need to cheer him up a little. Remember how glad he was to see us when we brought the party to the hospital? We're not talking about a big party either. Just a few friends. So what do you think? Well, why don't we talk to Maria, and if she thinks it's a good idea... Yeah, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Boy, looks like it's gonna be a big week for homecomings. Karen's back from the clinic next week, too. Oh, yeah, how's she doing? Pretty good, as far as I can tell. I just hope she has what it takes to make it. So what'd you say you are again? T8? T10. Oh, yeah, that's right. Car accident, right? I was riding my chopper, and that tree was doing nearly 100 clicks an hour when it hit me. The tree's okay, though. I'm not a total loss, though. I figure my future's in Las Vegas. I get a job as a slot machine. Jackpot. That's where we were going when the accident happened. Me and Marie down to Las Vegas to get married. You kidding me? Nope. Well, you sure picked a great spot for a honeymoon. She's a foxy little thing, isn't she? If you don't mind me saying it. I mean, not that you should. It's not like I'm gonna do anything about it. How about you? Can you do anything about it? Sex? <laughs> yeah. I I think that's something I can still do. At least, at least that's what they tell me. You are a lucky man. For me, it's not the sex I miss so much. It's climbing down the drain pipe afterwards. <laughs> I think it's time for a drink. They have pretty strict rules about stuff like that. So what's your point? Games like us. We gotta stick together. bucks for a slab of plywood on wheels. <laughs> we didn't pay that much for our first car. How did she talk you into it? I have no idea. And I was there at the time. I think it's uh, Isaac something. No, it isn't. It's Ian, I think. <sighs> what difference does it make? Well, she's here someplace. You looking for someone? Uh, yeah, uh, Isabel Potter. You sure she's buried here? Of course she's buried here. She wouldn't just walk away, you know, would she? Uh, do you have any idea how we might be able to find her? Listen to your heart and let the wind guide your steps. <laughs> the hell, I don't know. My uncle is buried here somewhere, and I could never find him either. Maybe they eloped. <laughs> You could, uh, try checking down at the band office. 
Native girl, is she? Yeah, my mom. She drowned when I was seven. She drowned herself. Damn, that's when it hurts the most, huh? I don't think it really matters, does it? I mean, she's here somewhere. Guess what, Mom? I made it. We bought you some flowers. I hope they're the kind you like. I wish we'd had more time. I wish I understood. But you don't have to feel bad. So I'm okay. I love you, Mom. <laughs> You're a bad influence, Leon, you know that? Yeah. That's what Kathy tells me. She's not much use anymore, but she's all right for smuggling in the occasional bottle. Kathy, your girlfriend? She's my ex-girlfriend, actually. As far as I can see, she just doesn't want to say it. She used to come in almost every day. Now it's more like once a week. Yeah, I'll come. I got it. How come? Look at me. Look at you. I mean, they can't handle it, right? At first they come because because it makes them feel noble, and, and then it's like they have to come because they feel guilty. No, it's not like that with me and Maria. I mean, she's the one who said that we're still going to get married. I mean, I said, Maria, no, we can call it off. But she said no. And when did you say this, Jason? A few days after the accident? What's that supposed to mean? You just wait and see. At least they're getting antsy when they're here. And then the excuses start. Oh, I know, Jason. I know I promised to come tomorrow, but something's just come up. Oh, look, man. I shouldn't be telling you this stuff. I don't even know that girl of yours. It's right, Leon. You don't know her. You shouldn't be talking about things you don't know anything about anyway. Just take my word for it, pal. She's not like that. Uh, I got some change in the car. I've got uh, three, no, make that three and a quarter. That's my last five bucks. I guess we're what, a buck and a half short? <laughs> um, two fifteen. Um, but just forget it, I'll, I'll, I'll take it out of here, okay? Hey, say hi to Tinkerbell for me, would you? Give the guy a break, Red. He's just doing his job. Hey, don't get me wrong. I admire a guy who does what he needs to do. You hang it in there, son. You do your job, you hold your head up high. Well, I wouldn't mind a job with a little more dignity, you know? Nah, when you're starting out, you gotta swallow your pride. Hell, I had mine for breakfast every day for 10 years. <laughs> Just a sec. We're still looking for someone, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it was hard, but it was good. I never realized how angry I was. Because she killed herself? Yeah. I know she's dead, but I finally got a chance to tell her some stuff that I really needed to say about how mad I was that she left me all alone. You're not alone. You got your dad, and you got your friends. 
Hey guys, would you buy a used car from this man? Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, you ready to talk or do I need a whipping chair? No, come on. I won't bite your head off, I promise. Jason, I'm scared. About what? When you get moody like that, I don't know how to deal with you. Maria, just because I run into a wall every once in a while doesn't mean that I'm going to stop loving you. No. I mean, the medicine they gave me kind of tastes like rubbing alcohol. Not that I know what rubbing alcohol tastes like. Why don't you uh, grab a chair? Hey, what's mine's yours. So, uh, what else did you end up doing today besides listening to me bitch at you? Not much. Just had some things to do. You know, Maria, you... don't get me wrong, okay? But you don't have to come here every day if you don't really want to. I mean, I, I know you got stuff to do, and, well, I'm not the easiest person to take these days. No, I want to. I want to be with you. I don't care where. Okay, well, how about tomorrow afternoon after physio? Actually, tomorrow evening would be better. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>